Matlett has gone forward with Stewart to the right. Lineker and Howes to the left. Is Gascoigne going to have a crack? He is, you know. Oh, I say! Brilliant! That is schoolboy's own stuff. Uh, let's try this. I've let a little time go by. I want to kind of pause the game here. It's already after dawn. I should be on my way. I uh, just want to discuss then the events of uh, the last night just up till the morning of day six and it went something like this. Um, I kind of worked on my uh, vanity project to making a tower that I can climb and have a look from around. Uh, I did you know just crafting for crafting sake to raise the skills. I did um, cook some more um, iron uh, bars and uh, I have a better supply of iron bars and uh, arrowheads. So, you know, I just kind of got up on that a little bit and now I'm trying to make up my mind on what to do. Um, obviously, Horde Day is day seven and I want to definitely be back here by midday, day seven, so I can make final preparations for the night and that will include making some pipe bombs and anything else that I can and have uh, and I'm able to do. So um, I'm about to unpause it here. I'm just going to take a quick look through my inventory. I have leveled up. I have skilled up. And I'm currently at scavenging of 30. And the quality Joe raised to 2 out of 3. And my plan is to go back, because I'm stubborn, and uh, get that treasure uh, dug up from just north of here. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, I'm making 300s. Um, yeah, let's uh, get everything I need. Let's go. I really do need to try to focus here as the days are short from my perspective and I just want to get there, dig it up and then with what time remains gather some more resources wood, iron, stone that sort of thing hopefully some more coal I actually have more potassium nitrate than I have coal which is a really bizarre situation in my opinion I think I want to make a new uh, shovel as soon as I can, too. I'll burn this one down, and I'll start making a new one when I get on site. <clears throat> and uh, hopefully the next tools will be better than these. A little better. second sanity check okay it appears that I am successfully recording Probably wondering why am I using a straight up wooden club? I am asking myself that same question. Have iron bars, I should use them. So, this is me just trying to be as single minded as I can, as I'm maybe capable of being. And this is probably not the smartest thing that I could turn my attention to on day six, but I wouldn't really be <laughs> true to my style of play if I didn't just sort of do what I wanted to do. And damn it, I want to dig up treasure. Okay, I can do what? Iron... 
Barbed Club. So the way you dig up treasure is very simple. It's uh, always about two voxels deep, and you can kind of get a little um, off your game if you're in a place that has a, a steep grade, trying to always be two voxels deep when you're having to go up and down the side of a hill. Um, but otherwise, and I've got a box around here too somewhere, um, otherwise, you want to dig rows up and down the length of the uh, flashing X marks the spot treasure chest uh, like I've done here. I don't know what is going on here. Let's start digging again. I was going in this direction. Back and forth, back and forth. No, I was going in the other direction, wasn't I? Okay, this is weird. It's like it's on different... Um... Very strange. So it's going way out here now? How could I have been so wrong before? East. South. Okay. I'm uh, confusing myself here. My trenches don't seem to add up to where the treasure now is, uh, according to the flashing map, so... This is about the edge of it here. All right, here's where we're gonna dig, I guess. So, yeah, just digging parallel trenches, two voxels deep, three voxels apart, and you inev inevitably will turn up the buried treasure chest. And the only thing that will prevent you from doing it as fast as it's possible to do with this method is when you don't notice you've uncovered it and you continue to dig past it, which I've done many times. Again, about my puzzlement, I was here on the day that my recording uh, failed, and I measured out kind of where the corner of the flashing grid would be. I started a trench up one side of it, made a trench down, and I was out of time. I hadn't found it. And now I'm back, and it seems like the flashing grid doesn't match up. It overlaps a little, but it is not where I originally was digging may or may not work to my advantage. <laughs> I 
do not have a jacket yet, do I? It's a bit of an oversight. Dull footage. Hopefully there's a payoff in soon. And I can get back to bigger and better things. Next one was here. There or there. Right, let's try another. Raising mining tools, if nothing else. Builds character, too, I hear. Alright, let's get this over with.
a uh, clever watcher of this video would have uh, by now fast forwarded until they found a point where I was doing something other than having a shovel under my nose. But for posterity's sake, I'm just going to record the whole thing. Yeah, this is going to be one of those where I'm not going to find it until the last end of my last row. Guaranteed. It's like they say, you're looking for something, you always find it the last place you look. I'm hearing footsteps too. I think it's just one random zombie. But I should be uh, vigilant for the bear sound and uh, hopefully don't get uh, waylaid by a beeline of zombies. even row. Almost up to yellow tools, that's pretty exciting. I'm not going to drink that last beer. That's my get out of jail card for uh, running from a bear or dogs. Even then, it might not be enough. Still, it's worth a try.
Yeah, time flies when you're having fun, don't it? It's four o'clock. Should be able to finish up with the decent enough uh, shovel I have going now. soul. Now this is about done right here, I would say.
All right, this has just gotten totally absurd. It's completely not here. Or, <laughs> it is here and I totally missed it. This is pretty sloppy even for me. There's a bear. Oh. I have totally messed this up. Was he over there? <laughs> All right. All right, all right, all right. Wow. got farther away there. I'm really clutching at straws here. Oh, oh, here it comes. Alright. Let's end it. Really, I completely wasted that day. Totally screwed the pooch. No one to blame it myself. <clears throat> All right. New resolution. Not going to go look for that treasure map again. Unless, for some reason, I come back this way and I've got time to kill. Going to get ready for day seven. Going to survive the horde. Don't really foresee any problems there. It's just a matter of it being day seven. You gotta do what you gotta do. And on day eight, when I'm clear, I'm going off uh, on the road looking for a town, a proper town. yellow tool. Lucky me.
Hello? Oh, that feels much better. Hitting things just two strikes. To break them loose. Feel like a real man now. Hate them when they're wandering around at night. And you can hear them. <laughs> Didn't leave much room to spare. pretty frustrating. Here's my vanity project. I don't think I got that on tape before. Just a little lookout. Playing around. Alright. Dig this hole. Burn what little iron I have. <sighs> what else? Just leveled 14 on day 6. It's, uh, well, something. Uh, you can see my scavenging's up, my quality Joe, and I've got 25 points. I mean, I'm all but at scavenging 60, and then the last quality Joe. So really, what I need to be doing on day 8 is finding a real town where I can loot and hopefully start finding good stuff and move my base of operations, make a new forge, etc. <laughs> Before I leave this location, however, I will get more water, hopefully get a little more food that I can carry with me, and uh, more resources. God, if only I've got rocks, I can at least grind some tools. Now I've got, I've got iron. I kind of hate to burn the iron, but I may just have to do it. Play around with my cobblestones a little bit. Oh yeah. Make some more gunpowder and start to make some pipe bombs. So, you know what I'm thinking, you know what's on my mind, getting on to midnight here. So I'm going to go ahead and close the recording for the night and I'll resume dawn on day seven. Thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Peach, part of the Peach versus Belkoth playstyle challenge. I will hopefully Talk to you again soon.